Good morning. Tuesday, April 21st. Uh, we've been in quarantine for a while now. Um, hope that uh, God is talking to you. We're in Revelation chapter 2, verses 18 through 19. Tressa, you are so faithful. So faithful. Love it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you, Tressa and John. Um, I'm thinking of moving this to 9 o'clock because it just seems like people aren't up at 8 o'clock, but I'd love to get your feedback on that. Uh, give me a comment below when you get a chance. Uh, let me read what we're talking about. We're in the fourth church now in Revelation that God is talking to. Um, it says, For the angel of the, of the church in Thyatira write, These are the words of the Son of God, whose eyes are like blazing fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Morning, Veronica. Um, like blazing fire, feet, eyes like blazing fire. <clears throat> uh, what, the, what the commentaries say is that, and, and I don't have time to look at other scriptures, that what it means is that Jesus is able to see things, see through things, like he's able to see our, our hearts. He's able to look through things, almost like Superman that could see through things, that Jesus is able to look into the hearts of people and see our true motives. Um, um, people do things that we recognize as great or good or great. We see people doing certain things and we give credit to them. Um, however, God is able to see their in, in their hearts and see their true motives. Uh, sometimes we don't even recognize our own motives when we do things, but God does. Sometimes we just do things, we help somebody, we don't even know why we did it. But God, God has eyes uh, like blazing fire that he's able to look within us. And then feet with like burnished bronze, uh, again, Theologians say that that's like being sure-footed, steady, unmovable, that uh, that you can't change God's actions or try to fool God, that he's immovable, uh, that God is the same today as he was thousands of years ago. Uh, I, I throw this in. If he punishes people thousands of years ago, it'd be foolish to think that he wouldn't punish his people in, even in today's time. And if he showed mercy thousands of years ago, he can show mercy today. But I like what Jesus says to this church. He says, I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service, per perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Uh, so let's, let's look at this. Uh, Jesus is saying he knows this. He sees, he sees through the people in this church here. Uh, and he can see everything that they're doing. He's telling this church even that, they, that they're doing even more than they did before. Uh, so these are good words, although tomorrow we're going to look at what he says counter to this now. But I was looking at our church, Collision, and most of you watching this have either part of Collision or been a part of it. Joanne, thanks for watching. Sierra, Sheila, uh, Savannah, good to see you. Debbie Jones. Uh, I was thinking of some people in our church, whether Jesus would say that to, to Collision. And, uh, and, I, and I was thinking of different things here, and I wrote them down. Um, and, and I guess I asked those of you that don't aren't a part of Collision, that are part of another church, if Jesus could say this to your church. Um, I see your deeds of Collision and of the service some of you are doing. Uh, I see Dandy continuing to feed the homeless in Hawaiian gardens uh, with his mask and gloves on. Jesus said, I, I'm, I see that, and I, and I see the motives behind what he's doing. I see Grace and Irene going with him went to feed the homeless. Uh, I see them using their own money many times to feed the homeless. And I shared with uh, last night... Um, I commend doctors, nurses, uh, people that work in grocery stores, uh, uh, drivers uh, in the medical field, everyone that's out there uh, putting their life in danger. 
but they're but it's part of their job. It's their it's their salary now. It's a tough job, but it's still part of their job. Where you, Dandy and Grace and Irene are doing this out of the goodness of their heart. Uh, they don't have to do this. Uh, they're not getting paid to do this. In fact, they're using their own money many times. But but they're out there. God sees that, sees their heart. Uh, and then he sees Collision supporting that ministry. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but this Sunday, and this is amazing because we're not, we don't have that red bucket up front that people could put money in. Uh, Collision raised $1,005 this Sunday for Dandy's ministry. $1,005. Now again, we don't know the motive behind the people that gave that money. I don't know the true motive of it, but but Jesus is saying, he knows. I, I He knows. He had eyes of blazing fire. He can see through the motives of people that gave that money. Um. And, and Dandy's been doing this ministry for, for years. We see Don and Jamie feeding the homeless in the Long Beach area. And again, for many years. And again, using her money many times to do that ministry. Um, and we see Collision supporting them for many years. We see James and Pinky and Sandeep and Angel supporting their parents' <clears throat> incredible ministries in India their whole life. They grew up in it. They grew up in that ministry. That's all they've ever known is that. So when they come to America here, live in America and have jobs, they're sending mucho money back there to support their parents' ministry. And then Collision has been supporting their ministries for several years now. Uh, in fact, James wants a list of the people that have been given because he's, he just feels called by God to thank so many people for their support over the years. Uh, I think of Joanne, you've been supporting <coughs> children, orphans in India now for, for several years. <coughs> My brother's been doing it for several years. So we see so many in collision. And in my family, as I said, supporting orphans in India now for several, several years. We see all that, but God sees the heart behind all of that. So what does God see when he looks at your heart. What, what does he see when he looks at your heart? Does he see this? Let me read it again. I, would he say this to you? I know your deeds. I know your love. I know your faith. I know your service. I know your perseverance. I know that you're doing more now than you did at first. Oh, if God can say that about our church, Clinton, boy, praise the Lord. If God can say that for your church, praise the Lord. If God can say that for you, Praise the Lord. So I want to close by asking those of you that are watching now, Grace, thanks for watching, Ariana, uh, John, uh, some of you are so faithful. If you would, if it would be easier to shift this to nine o'clock, uh, I'm not sure how many people are up at eight o'clock. I'd just love to hear from some of you. So just comment below and I'll be able to read it throughout the day. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope God spoke to you and uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning and then i'll still be at eight uh for now and then uh tomorrow night or tonight will be impact for the uh, for the younger children at seven o'clock and tomorrow night crash god bless